What's up guys, my name is Julian, your solar expert, and today it is the middle of March in 2024, and the Tesla Powerwall 3, if you're in the solar world, is all we're really hearing about right now. This is pretty big news, and so I'm gonna be bringing the basic facts of what you need to know, the most important information, and kind of give you an explanation of why this is a big wake-up call and not necessarily a technological revolution per se, but this is going to create some waves. There's gonna be some short-term pain. Overall though, in the long term, this is very good for the industry. On the board here, I have a basic comparison of what it would cost to get an Enphase system versus a Tesla Powerwall 3 system. But I'm gonna be getting this uh, into this in just a minute. I'm gonna be giving you a quick summary of kind of the situation at large right now. All right, so it's 2024, and we are about two years into interest rates being hiked by the Federal Reserve. And so essentially, most people going solar, they're wanting to finance their system. That's great for those that can pay cash. We do a lot of cash deals too, but for the majority of people, they don't wanna just put out 30, 40, 50, 60 plus thousand dollars all at once. They wanna break it up into some nice payments. And so this was great a few years ago when interest rates were four or 5%, and you could even buy that interest rate down to essentially almost 0% if you really wanted to. But now the real interest rates for solar loans, before you talk about buying the interest rates down and you know dealer fees is what we call them in the industry, you're talking about somewhere in the range of maybe nine and a quarter at the very best that I've seen. If someone has less than a 9% with truly no fee, uh, I'd be very surprised. And if, if someone knows about it, comment below, I wanna know about it. So with the addition of batteries being required because of net metering agreements all throughout the country starting to go away, the main one being California, which is 50% of the nation's market, you know, you combine the, the cost of batteries, which are quite a bit of money and high interest rates together. And suddenly most people who were looking at instant monthly savings by financing a solar system, um, now are actually looking at a higher payment than what their existing utility bill is. Now, SDG&E, PG&E, Edison, you know, th those big three are controlled by CPUC, they all jacked their rates up again for 2024. So even going back and when I was doing this math, I was even amazed again that now I'm seeing consistently over 40 cents a kilowatt hour uh, when you blend all the rates together. So the problem of the utility bill not being high enough to you know, save you money versus the payment is kind of starting to go away anyways as the rates get hiked up. But this has been very tough for the majority of 2023. And so just now uh, in, in the spring of 2024, Tesla is releasing their Powerwall 3. There's three major factors that are making the Powerwall 3 less expensive than everything else on the market. The first one is going to be how they've combined the controller, which is essentially the computer system, in with the battery and the inverter. So the whole battery system is in one stack, which most other battery systems, it's two or three you know, components when you add everything together. So that's kind of the main thing, but that's not really where they're saving their money. The, the main place where they're gonna be saving everyone money is by doing two things. The first one is being first to the market with what's called the meter collar, which which is replacing the need to rewire all of the critical loads into its own sub panel. And that itself is usually about three to $4,000. So they're removing that and replacing it with a hopefully less than $1,000 piece of hardware that basically is installed behind the meter on your actual uh, electrical panel. And third factor that's ultimately making them way more cheap than everyone else is the fact that Tesla is a giant and they have decided to aggressively undercut the market in hopes to gain a bunch of market share. And my fear, because this is what Tesla does, they've done it with their cars a bunch of times, but you know, lower prices, gain market share, and then raise the prices to uh, bring their profit margins back up. Because really, I don't know how they're making any money at this price point that they're selling these at. Um, it's pretty insane, actually, how cheap these Powerwall 3s are. So for those that don't know, I'm comparing the Tesla to the Enphase in this example, because Enphase, in my opinion, is king. It's still, the highest quality best system now obviously not the cheapest but at the end of the day when you have one microinverter for every panel you have in each battery six microinverters you're really decentralizing all of the inversion which is really i call those like the workhorses the inverters are more the workhorses of the system and so it's still better i think but for most people there's, you know, the electrical grid is still there if you need it. It's not like you're replacing the grid. It's always there still if you need it. 
And so with that being said, let's get into a little bit of the differences in terms of price point here. And I'm sure you've been reading it by now since I've been talking, but I'm gonna kind of go through this because I also have another example with the larger system, which even shows a larger pricing difference. But basically, if we were going to model out two systems, one with end phase, they're both 7.2 kilowatt systems, one with end phase, one with the Tesla Powerwall 3. This is basically 18 400 watt panels. I'm using like REC panels in this example. And the Tesla Powerwall actually is a 13.5 kilowatt hour battery pack, where the 5Ps, they're five kilowatt hours. And so I did two 5Ps, which is 10, and this one has 13 and a half. So this is as pretty much as close to apples as apples as I could get it. But even now you can see that the Powerwall is giving you more capacity for significantly less money. We're looking at just shy of a 10 thousand dollar difference now what's crazy about this is this is with the contractors making the same amount of money i modeled this out with me like making the same commission the contractors making the same amount of profit margin this is just a cost of labor being a little bit less and uh, the material cost being significantly less and so when we you know work these out payment wise, you can see that in this example, we're talking about someone with an existing bill of about $325 a month. They're still going to have about a $25 to $30 a month you know, bill. So let's say it's $295 or $300 a month in savings. Great. Well, if you're looking at a $417 payment and even after it's a $292, but that's going to involve you, you know, paying out $417 for you know, a year until you get your tax credit and then you still have to let go of that money, which you know, you're more more attached to at that time this this is a little bit of a tougher sale now if you're just all about having the backup you know well then great you're basically getting the backup for almost no money but for most people they're looking to save money and when you show them a payment that isn't really less than what their current bill is then they don't it's hard to get excited about it so if we look over here right out of the gate without even you paying your tax credit down on this 20-year loan which is a 9.24 percent by uh, by the way I, I made it very realistic with the current figures of march of 2024 just right out of the gate your payment is matching what your existing utility bill is and when you pay your tax credit down, now you're a hundred dollars less. And so now all of a the sudden, these numbers are starting to look a little bit more like the NEM 2.0 days when you just had to install the solar without any batteries at all, when you know the interest rates were much lower. So let's go over a bigger example. Let's look at a 10 kilowatt system. All right, so now we have a 10 kilowatt system. We have four 5P batteries over here and we have two uh, Tesla power walls over here. Now, both of these also have backup. So with this one, we're rewiring everything into a critical loads panel and, you know, doing all that extra work, which is like I said earlier, about three to $4,000. Now, something I didn't mention earlier with the meter caller that Tesla's coming out with is they're really just the first to the game. Everyone is following suit with their version of the meter caller, but Tesla is the first one that's going to be available. So this pricing difference as time goes on is going to come down uh, because you're going to have to subtract the you know about three thousand dollars out of the price difference um, also I think that a lot of these other manufacturers are going to start cutting their pricing to compete like Enphase right now they have extremely high profit margins it's like 50% which is pretty insane in the manufacturing sector so they have room to come down so I think that this is going to create a lot of pressure on their end but let's go over the numbers of this bigger example if you were to call me up you know two months ago and say Julian I want solar uh, and backup batteries I need a 10 kilowatt system and four batteries I would have given you a price right around sixty two thousand dollars forty three thousand dollars net after you take out the tax credit but payment wise you're above five hundred dollars you know before you talk about the tax credit you know pay down which like I said, if it's not less than what your existing payment is, in this case it's 500 as well, it's hard to get excited about it. So this has been the problem for the solar industry in the last year, and this is why most solar salespeople are really pushing the leases and power purchase agreements right now, because they can show you lesser payments, not only because they can put it on an escalator, which means that your payment goes up and they can kind of backload the debt, but also because they're 25 year agreements versus a 20 year loan, which I'm using in this case. But already, if we go over here to compare it, the same system with actually, in this case, seven more kilowatt hours of capacity. This one only has 20, the Tesla has 27. You're already 
saving $12,000 right off the bat. And you can save money right out of the gate without even paying the tax credit down. So in this case, like if you finance this Tesla system, you would have $15,000 coming back to you within the next year or a couple years, depending upon your tax liability. And you could immediately drop your payment by 50 bucks. So you still have a 30 to $40 payment with SDG&E, PG&E, SoCal Edison. Still, we, you know, we have to talk about that, but still you're basically matching your existing monthly expenditure, getting all the backup and pocketing $15,000. And if you decide, hey, let's put that $15,000 down, now your payment's 320 and you're saving every month, building the equity and you have the backup. So yeah, this Tesla Powerwall is really shaking everything up right now. If you want a quote on the Tesla Powerwall 3, reach out, my number is 760-473-5878. You can also email me at juliansolarguide at gmail.com. Or if you'd like to fast forward that whole process and just fill out a form, I have it right below in the description. It's the JOT form, fill it out. Once we get it, we'll call you right back and we'll get started with getting your proposal together. Thank you so much and see you soon.